hey, hello, my name is Jack Edwards and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am feeling productive. I've got a lot of things to do and a lot of things to take off my to-do list, but I fully intend to tick as many off as possible. Now you may have seen, I've just been making my to-do list and I guess the interesting thing about these is that um, I make them in different colours. So blue is for things that are urgent, pink is for things that I would like to do preferably today, um, and green is for things that I need to do, not necessarily today, but I'll do them if I get time. So as I said, I'm going to try and tick off as many of those things as possible, and I'm going to do as many of those things as I can using this incredible HP Envy X360. This is basically the ultimate transformer of laptops. So you have laptop mode, then you have like stand mode, then you have tablet mode, and tent mode. So whether you want to watch a film, or whether you want to do some work, or whether you want to do a presentation, this laptop has it all. It's like the screen is such high quality, um, and I'm told by my friends who are into gaming that this is the perfect gaming laptop. And I've just noticed it's actually got Minecraft, and Candy Crush, and all of that kind of thing, so... I mean, I'm gonna be productive, but... I might have to have a little play with some of those as well. <laughs> it has such a quick startup time, and I'm just looking at it in the viewfinder there, and look how thin that laptop is. Like, it's so slick, it has such a beaut design. Like, I really love the metallic HP logo on there. Such an amazing piece of kit, and I'm really, really excited to get to use it today. You may also notice this swanky t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, so this is the Motivated Collection by my lovely friend Jade, um, on Jade and Jade on the YouTubes. And yeah, today I'm going to be motivated, so that is why I'm wearing this t-shirt. It also has this really cool little thing on the bottom which says, you've got this, so you can like, Pull it up, read that, very cool design. Let's get started with the day. So the first thing that I need to do today is make a thumbnail for my new YouTube video. It's actually a vlog of my jailbreak experience. Somehow we won jailbreak this year, um, and I filmed the whole thing. We made it all the way to Tel Aviv, which was mental. Um, so I need to edit up a thumbnail for that, because the thumbnail is the thing that kind of gets people to watch the video. It's like the, the thumbnail and title are so, so important. So um, I use PicMonkey to edit my thumbnails, try to make them quite colorful um, with a variety of pictures. So um, I'm going to show you behind the scenes. Either watch and learn, or watch and learn from my mistakes, because it's a bit of a trial and error process. <laughs> but I'm going to try and make something that's a bit eye-catching, so I'll show you a lot behind the scenes for that. Okay, so here is the finished product. I decided to go for these three photos because it kind of encapsulates like every part of our trip and our costumes that we're wearing. But also, um, I used like the yellow colour that is quite uh, prominent in each of the photos on the word free, just to like bring that one out. Um, so yeah, hopefully this gets people to click the video. Um, quite sure with that. I always try to start the day with something that's quite an easy task, so something maybe quite creative or fun to do, just to kind of get the juices flowing, get the ball rolling, and get something ticked off that to-do list, because I feel like once you start ticking things off, just psychologically, you feel more productive. While I'm here, I just wanted to quickly say a massive thank you to AMD for sponsoring this video and working with me. I've just been using the laptop, and the Ryzen processor is so fast, um, and the Radeon Vega graphics make such a crisp, clear shot. Like, this screen is beautiful. And so editing that thumbnail was made very, very easy. I can see why this laptop is so good for, like, gaming and Fortnite and stuff, because the graphics are just so, so clear. Links to find out more are in the description. So like I said, that's a big old tick off the to-do list, and now I'm going to get on with my next task, which is the dreaded hoovering. I have not hoovered this carpet, and this is so shameful, I know, since the day I moved in. I know that's so disgusting, but it's just something that I've never had to think about doing before, and so I've just never done. So yeah, I'm going to bring the hoover upstairs, do a bit of hoovering, and then sit in this chair that's just down here, in my reading corner, and do some reading for my lecture later today on Sons and Lovers, which I actually read over the summer, but I'm just going to do a quick, like, refresh of some of the key scenes, and that kind of thing, so that's the plan for right now. Domestic God level activated. Adulting. Can you take me seriously doing this with a voted the worst club in Europe by default after number one burned down poster behind me? Because this is just, I feel like this perfectly encapsulates like the two sides of my personality, you know? William says of both Lawrence and Hardy that they started a strange combination of the sensuous 
and the mystical, something subterranean, something that hasn't evolved, something that is from an earlier stage of human history. Okay, so I am back from my lectures. I had one on Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence and one on how Darwin's theories of species and the origins of species impacted Victorian literature, so all fun and games. But my lectures for the day are not quite over yet because I missed a lecture last week and so my friend Harry re kindly recorded it for me and got me the handout. And so I'm going to sit downstairs with my laptop and type up some notes from that um, and catch up on what I've missed. We are storming through this to-do list today, um, and the next thing on there is to do some work for Duck. Now, Duck stands for Durham University Charity Committee, but committee is spelled with a K because otherwise it wouldn't spell Duck, and that's less fun, isn't it? So basically, that's the Charity Committee of the University, um, which I am part of the Challenges team. So we do various challenges over the year. There's like a skydive slash bungee jump. Um, there's the jailbreak challenge that I spoke a bit about earlier that I actually participated in and there's another one called formally lost now formally lost is a challenge whereby there is a formal event at like 6 p.m. in the evening but at 8 a.m. in the morning people in teams are taken on a bus to a random location outside of Durham um, and they have to then hitchhike to get home in time for the formal um, and you win a prize if you're the first people back and it's all raising money for charity and that kind of thing so um, this year I am kind of in charge of organizing where we dump the people. I have got to look up some locations which are two and a half hours away from Durham um, and make a short list to send to Flavia who's in charge of the challenge as a whole um, so that she can pick one for the buses to drop people off at. Last year the winners actually managed to bribe the bus driver and just got back on the bus uh, after it dropped them off. So it dropped them off in the location then they bribed the bus driver and he just drove them back to Durham. So we've had to make a rule that you can't do that this year um, but yeah I need to find some places which are easy to drive to um, and hopefully easy to get back from as well. Okay, so last year the place that people were dumped was Dumfries, which is 100 miles from Durham, so 2 hours and 42 minutes to get there. So, what I'm going to do is put in this like radius map kind of thing. Um, I'm going to put from a Durham... Okay. Click the button to download what? and get started. I don't want to do that. But anyway, as I was saying, um, so I want a 100 mile radius from a Durham postcode. And let's see. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's... Oh, wow, I didn't realise how far you could take people. And then now I'm going to make a list of all of the places that are on that radius. Obviously, I don't want to film it, just because I don't want to spoil it in case anyone watching this is going to participate. But, uh, we'll see. Hi, hey, hello. Um, so some time has passed. I'm now wearing a jumper, which, um... I mean, this content is just thrilling, isn't it? What will he do next? I'm sure you're on the edge of your seats. <laughs> anyway, in other news, I have been to a meeting about another charity project that I'm doing. Um, so basically, most of the colleges in Durham run a charity fashion show every year, and this year I'm doing PR and marketing. So we've been like releasing the headshots of the models for the fashion show. All the models are like students at my college at Durham. I also did a little bit of reading for a tutorial that I have tomorrow, so just a bit of preparation for that, and cooked dinner, which for some reason I forgot to film. Um, like, obviously, that's quite a crucial part of my day so just know that I have eaten today um, but I just forgot to film it. I had a stir fry, it was lovely. What I'm going to do now is use the HP Envy X360 to design a title for this exact video that you're watching, this is like videoception. Um, but basically I want to make a handwritten title because I think they look so cool so I want to write get productive with me on here so it will come up on the screen at the beginning of the video. Hopefully you've already seen this if it works well um, but I'm going to give this a go and let you know how it goes. Baby, You know how to be a heartbreaker But you don't know how love goes so here is the finished product, as you can see. Um, hopefully I'll be able to edit it so that each word comes up like individually, but I've saved it 
with each one as a separate file and then one as it all together. So hopefully that'll work out, but I'm really chuffed I can do that now because I've always really admired like handwritten titles and stuff like that. So. I'm very happy about this. This is such a cool feature of this laptop. My next task of the day is just a bit of admin. I need to fill in my student planner, my academic diary, with all of my commitments over the next two weeks. And whilst I do that, the soundtrack to doing that will be my November playlist, which has got some cracking artists like um, Billie Eilish, Peachy, Ten Tons, Liv Dawson, Moss Kenna, Ariana Grande, because Thank You Next is a tune. We've got Black, we've got Khalid, we've got Dermot Kennedy, we've got Half Alive, like, I need some mash with all these bangers. And um, basically I have the Palgrave student planner and I actually color coordinate my week. So I have lectures in blue, social stuff in yellow, um, tutorials and seminars in pink and volunteering in the local library at in purple, which I do once a week. And then YouTube stuff is in orange. So I can kind of see visually what I have and when. My next job of the day is just to fill this in with next week's stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I've got my timetable up on my laptop. So, I'm gonna crack on. Baby, I know You know how to be a heartbreaker You don't know how love goes Next task of the day is to grab a laptop, sit in bed, and respond to some YouTube comments. Um, I always feel like if people can take the time out of their day to watch my video and comment on it, then the least I can do is reply to them. So um, I always try to reply to every single comment if I can. So that's what I'm gonna go and do now because I uploaded a video with the amazing Luke Birch um, the other day and I was away when it went up. So I haven't had a chance to sit and properly respond to everyone um, and read all of the feedback. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, and of course, it would be rude not to do a little time lapse, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm going to pop you there. I've got my video and I'm going to sit on the bed and reply to some comments. You and your back to touch, you and your soft whisper, it's taking me down. I'm seeing things clearer, but I can't hold on. Can't let go of our words before. Okay, so that is 200 comments replied to. Better late than never. Um, but I'm glad I've managed to sort that. And whilst I'm on YouTube, I've quickly turned the laptop into tablet mode, and now I'm going to watch a few videos because I deserve it. I've been really binge watching these Michael McIntyre send to all episodes um, and also absolutely obsessed with Billie Eilish always so I think those are the two videos I'm gonna watch right now Baby, I know your tricks. <sighs> so I think that is me done for the day also can I just point out it's so important to reward yourself and to actually like spend some time just watching some videos and to actually schedule that into your day or just doing something that you enjoy doing something that just like is going to unwind you before you sleep, especially. Um, I'm gonna read my book now and then head to bed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to AMD for sponsoring it. Um, it's such a cool collaboration and I'm honored to be working with you. So thank you very, very much. And yeah, maybe this video will inspire you to go out and have a really productive day as well. Um, if you're watching this to procrastinate, then I feel you, I do a lot of that too. But you know, maybe tomorrow have a super productive day. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. Have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.